yes, Pastor. Okay, guys, uh, here's what I want you to do, and that is, I want you to uh, pick a number, maybe six, okay. and find all the factors, and then circle mm -hmm. the prime factors. Find all the factors. All the factors of six? All the factors of six. Okay. So that's gonna be pretty easy. So factors of six. So I need some numbers that add up to six. So would, uh, can I use a calculator? No. Oh. Uh, okay. Well. Okay. What about this one? Uh, this one is pretty good. Okay. This is very nice. One plus two plus three. It adds up to six. Okay. So one plus two plus three adds up to six. So that should be pretty good. So that's the factor. So. Joe, can you, um, uh, Joe, can you, can you solve this problem? Can you show him how to do it? Well, what about prime vectors? I don't, should I try? I think I uh, the prime vectors. So prime vectors, I don't really have the factors, but I know one is a prime factor, so it's just gonna be two and three, and then give me five. So that's it. Uh, one plus two plus three. Those okay. Are the Very nice. So, uh, you, uh, you, Joe, can you um, can you also um, can you also come over here and, uh, and show how to solve this problem? Oh, okay. So, uh, factors of six, right? Oh. Pretty easy. Factors of six is just uh, this is a joke almost for me. Factors of six is gonna be not only one and the number itself, but it's also gonna be two and three. And why are these factors of six is easy, man? Well, what are you doing? This is like you're doing addition. Factoring is all about multiplication. Okay, you see one times six, give you six. Two times three, give you six. That's why it's factoring. That's why these are factors. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. It's a shame. The education system probably failed him. Now we look at the prime factors. Okay, so the professor said prime factors. So that's gonna be pretty easy. One is not prime, two is prime, three is prime. That's it. What a loser, I mean. Get a life and get an education. Come over here. You need a tutoring session. Welcome to Science Lab. This is 100% hands on school. And today our topic is prime factorization. This is a continuation of our last uh, topic. And we have a student representing the whole student body for hands-on activity and remind everyone your name. Rifa. Good. Rifa. Um, uh, memorization is a crime. Very good. And um, let's um, let's start con let's start let's begin our conversation asking you what is uh, prime factorization. Uh, prime factorization is like factoring numbers that are prime. That is good, but uh, you have to explain it to me, uh, describe it without using the prime now, without using the the same thing I ask you. Um, I should, don't think that's possible. Should I give you an example? Okay. Sure. All right, so uh, a number that has exactly two factors. Okay. A number itself and one. Number itself and one. Now, can you either give me an example of a prime number between zero to twenty, or can you give me a definition? Okay, example of prime number from zero to twenty-one. One is not a prime number. One is not prime number. It's not a prime number. You probably think that uh, one. It has only one itself, right? Yeah, it doesn't even have two factors. One itself, right? Yeah. So it does not have two factors. It does not satisfy no. the condition. So what is the condition I said? Two factors only. Not only two factors. In order to, in, so in order for, so you have a candidate, right? Okay. So let's say one is a candidate. Mm -hmm. Now how one is a candidate, right? Candidate yeah. to be prime. Like, you know, you say election time, right? Yeah. So Joe Biden is a candidate and Donald Trump is a candidate. Both, both not gonna win the election, right? Right. right. So now, if you are an election commissioner, mm -hmm. what, how are you gonna see whether this qualify to be a candidate for prime number? Mm, number of factors. Yes, and how many it has to be exactly? Two. 
two. Two factors. So how many factors do you have for one? Uh, one only. One only. So mm. yeah, one looks good, but one does not qualify to be prime. All right. Mm. What is next? Next, next, next. Uh, two. Try Very two. good, two. Two, two has how many factors? Um, two. Two has two. So one, one and, and itself. two is self, right? Uh, yeah. Does it satisfy to be a prime number? Yeah, it has two factors. Now can you tell me the definition? I hope this motivated you to give me a definition. Yeah, okay. prime number is a number with only two factors, one and itself. With exactly two? Exactly two factors. Exactly two factors. So one? And it's All, one is always there uh, and itself and itself. So now you know the refer. Now you know the definition of a prime number. Can you write all the prime numbers between zero to twenty? Okay, from zero to twenty. Zero to twenty. Okay, so prime number. So yes. Well, I can't do one. You told me one is not prime. No. But you told me two is prime, so I'll start with the two. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do three because three also has two factors. Then we can do 5, uh, 7, uh, 11, uh, 13, 17, and 19. 19. So, so how many? Can you count? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, eight prime numbers. So 8 yes. prime numbers. 8 prime numbers. Okay, so we're going to call them what? Prime numbers. Prime numbers, yeah. Prime numbers. Alright, so they are prime. So why they are prime? Why 17 is prime, for example? 17 is prime. Well, you just showed me that uh, 17 is prime because it has only two factors. Uh, one, one is a factor, and it's self. So two factors. Why 18 is not, for example, why uh, you excluded, I, I, I understand, I told you to exclude one. Mm -hmm. You excluded four. Okay. Can you tell me why four is not a prime? So let's see how many factor it has. So one is always a factor, any number. One is gonna be a factor. Two is a factor of four because it's even. And four is a factor of four. So you have three factors, not two. It's automatically like disqualified. Oh, four disqualified to um, to be prime number? To be prime number. All right, very nice. Uh, why is prime important? Why don't I ask you this question? Oh, okay. Why do you think prime is important? As you see in this school, I don't answer the question. Mm. So I let me ask you the same question. Why uh -huh. do you think prime is important? Um, they are like the atoms. So yeah. someone told me they are like atoms. Some I still. Oh, what know. does that mean? They are like. What is atom? Blocks. What is atom for chemistry or physics? Uh, they are like uh, elements or building block or something. All right, so everything is made of atoms. Is oh, that what yeah, you're yeah. They are everything is made of prime. So, for example, everything is made of atom. This yeah. is what the this is this is the definition in physics or, right. or chemistry, right? right? So now we can say the same thing. Every number is made of prime. Oh. Primes are the building block of numbers. Can you show me? Because I don't. Uh, you. Because you can you, you can visualize yeah, it. Yeah, I have to visualize. All uh, right, so visualization mm -hmm. can yeah. sure. Uh, write all the numbers between again. Write all the numbers between zero to twenty. All the prime number between zero to twenty. Okay. You. So uh, I remember them. Let, write them over here. Over so here. let's write prime over here so that so prime. Should I write them in red? No. Okay. Let's write prime. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now write. All the number, number one. Oh, I, I, I don't want to put one over here. Two, three, There's eight. Four, if five, I six, seven, eight. Oh. Go ahead. So we start with the two, three, uh, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, uh, seventeen, and nineteen. Nineteen. And now, mm -hmm. so write all the other numbers between zero to twenty. All the other numbers that are not prime or that not? are not prime. Okay, so is there a name for them or you just composite them? numbers? Oh, composite. Okay, yeah, composite. Composite. All right. Let's me let me put, uh, let's put some dot. Let's just start with four. Okay, let's just start with four. So go ahead. Let's start okay. Right. So we have four. Let's see, five is there. So uh, six, eight, um, nine, ten. 
what else? What else? Uh, okay, so 12, 13, 14. 14 is here. That's fine. I think we need some more. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So 14 and 15. Yep. Uh, 16. Yep. Uh, 17 I have there. So 18. That's yeah. it. That's, that's it. Now, oh, okay. now I said, what did I say? I said that the composite, the, the, the five numbers are building block of composite. Composite. Okay, for example, two, four. Four is made of prime number. Can you show me that four is made of prime number? So, four, how is four is made of prime number? So, uh, let's see. Um, so, the seven minus three is seven minus three is four. So, or you know why I, I made it too complicated even 2 plus 2 is 4 so you know it's any way you want you get 4 so no try again okay 2 2 uh, times 2 oh you use multiplication not yes addition? no not addition multiplication oh, okay okay all right now can you try with 6 okay so this time I'll try multiplication yep so only using this number only using that number so we okay. want to show that the primes are the building blocks of all other numbers including okay. four six eight all other number you can think of mm -hmm. so let's we can we call them composite number composite okay so two and three two and three make us very six. nice two, two and three two times three is six mm -hmm. two is a prime three is a prime so yeah so the six the number six made of two prime numbers two and three. Oh, okay what about uh, the next one all right so to try the next one next one you can say two times two times yeah two times two times two oh that's it yeah that's it so, oh can i try nine yeah so i can use the same one twice or you can use the same one twice oh that's allowed right yeah it is allowed so nine would just be three and three three times three very nice so why don't we try ten Okay, so now I can be fast. Two times five. Yeah, very good. Now why don't you try eighteen? Two times nine, right? Eh? Again? No, is the nine is nine can be broken down to oh nine is not smaller here. and nine is not well nine oh. is here. Oh, so, so I just plug it in. You can put that. Oh, here. that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, so two times nine would just be the same as two times three times three. Yeah. So why don't you try sixteen now? Sixteen. Okay. So sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. So I know that sixteen is two times eight, but you already show me eight. that eight is two times two times two. Right. Absolutely. So I can instead of writing two times eight, I can write two times two times two times two four times. Right. And you notice that. All four digits are prime. Yeah. So sixteen made of how prime. many prime number? Four. And all of them are the smallest prime number. Okay. So sixteen is made of prime number. Eight is eighteen is made of prime number. Fourteen is made of prime number. Mm -hmm. Twelve is made of prime number. Any given number, any composite number, mm -hmm. made of prime numbers. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Very good. Now let's uh, move on to something. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, find factorization. All right. Now can we can I quiz you? Yes. yes, yes. Right, can you find the prime factorization of? Now I want to show you the prime factorization. Okay. Prime. Prime factorization. Uh, so what does the prime factorization means? Can you tell me again? So breaking a number into all of its building block breaking a composite number into its building block. into is a building block building block or making a composite number to is atoms in this case atoms are the prime numbers prime number. right, let's do 12 okay right, so we can do it like that sure. so what two number make it uh, 12 2 times 6 make it 12 okay. is this the prime factorization no, oh, six. Very good. Six the, can be broken down more two. two, three. So, is this the prime factorization of twelve? Yeah. All right. Very Everything good. is prime. Can you do a prime factorization of twelve 
Is starting a little differently than I did? Well, yeah, you don't have to do 2 and 6. Mm -hmm. the, I was gonna do 3 and 4, but you, you started Oh, yeah, very good. Now, you think you is still get the same answer? That's a circle in the red, which is 2 times 2 times 3. You think no. you is still gonna get the same answer? No, this is completely different number. Well, why don't you go this all the way? Why don't you? Because 4 is not prime. Why don't you make 4 prime? Oh, I can break 4 apart into... Two and two. Now um, circle them uh, using dark color. Okay. Circle all the prime number using dark color. So three, two, and two are all prime. So why don't you write them? Oh. oh. So you think the they? Same. You don't think they're they're same? It's the same. Oh, right, very good. Now oh. any other number you want to try? Uh, Let's give you. Uh, I don't know. Eighteen. Eighteen. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Eighteen. Do them differently. Okay. So. Uh, easiest way is 3 and 6. First thing I thought of is 3 and 6. Mm -hmm. So uh, 6, you we just did it. 6, six is not a prime broken. number, so make it prime. So 3 and 2. Sure. Now start for so, all the all all factors are prime. Okay. So 3 is a prime, 3 is a prime, 2 is a prime. Dr write it in ascending order. No, in ascending order. Oh, this is smaller. Not order, right? Yeah, okay. no, it's smaller one first. So 2 times 3 times 3. Okay. Right now, start different. Start something different. Not three and six. Start some something like I don't know. Uh, two, oh, two and nine. Sure. Okay, two and nine. Right. And you end up gonna get the same answer, hopefully. Hopefully. Like Not hopefully. Hundred percent sure. Okay. I mean, this is. There is no hoping. Game of there is not, not, not game of luck. No, math is not game of luck. Yeah. Well, nine. I uh, saw it can be broken into three and. So three. circle all that are trying. So 2, 3 and 3. Right in ascending order. So 2 times 3 times 3 is the same. Compare it with the other answer. They are the exact. Congratulations. Now you know the prime factorization. Wow. Alright, now you see the mistake you made with, with Joe. Oh, yeah. Alright, so what mistake did you make with Joe? As you see that, uh, this is. You understand your mistake, right? What mistake um, do you make? I use plus instead of multiplication. Multiplication, sir. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you.